Hi guys, welcome back. I am Red Zed, and today we are continuing our divide and conquer campaign as Darwinian. And yes, we have this battle of Rohrberg. I'm sorry if you hear a little bit of buzzing in the background. For some reason, early September seems to be the time when the sun wants to come out in the UK. So yeah, I do have a fan going, but it shouldn't be too bad, but we shall see. Anyway, guys, let's get into the battle. We are fighting Captain Grabneck, or whatever the hell he's called. Now, these Dolgador scouts are not fantastic, but neither of our Westron defenders, and we really only have them. But these Orc Maulers that are effective against armor might prove to be just a bit too much, and it's just going to be a bit, bit annoying if we lose Rawberg, to be honest, but... Let's see. We'll get into the battle and we shall see. I'll see you there, guys. I do quite like the speeches in this uh, this game. Oh, it's not a, uh, a filthy orcs' place anymore. So that's actually quite good for us uh, in general. So we'll just see which way they come in. Let's have a look at our Westron defenders. So they do have six defense skill and uh, three shields. So they do have nine defense against the Maulers. But that five armor is going to be wiped out by those boys um, they're not the best in attack, but I think we'll just have to do a bit of shield walling and see what we can get away with. I don't, I'm not sure. Someone commented about the shield wall being not that good against infantry, but I can't remember what the best thing to do with the shield wall. Maybe we'll have one without shield wall and one with. But let's see where they come in. Oh, they're not even coming in from this way. Honestly, I want to kind of like, if I go like here, maybe... And then what we'll do, I'll have you guys out of shield wall. And you can charge in the side. Okay, they're going this way. <laughs> let's, not, let's not do that then. Uh, shield wall you boys. Oh, let's do the same thing. But slightly the other way. So we'll have uh, you guys out of shield wall. And we'll get you here. And our general can just stand back make sure he doesn't die. I am slightly worried about the Javis as well. The Javis are going to be a bit of a problem for us. Okay, uh, didn't I say get out of shield wall, guys? Yeah, I think I did, but... I'm hoping the Dolgador Scouts will just charge in. Okay, looks like they're sending the Orc Maulers around the other way. It's not the perfect idea for us, so we're going to have to defend both sides. Apparently, you guys just want to be in a shield wall anyway, so... Let's just do this. Let's see what they do with their guys. Because we might be able to flank these Orc Maulers and surround them. And get rid of them. Because it looks like they're not really doing anything with these scouts right now. And if they don't, we'll charge in there as well. Here come the Mauler boys. Okay, looks like they're going to do that. And we can fully surround them now. That's something I like to see. So let's get in there. Let's make sure we just destroy their morale with, uh, with with surrounding them. We can also destroy their general as well. And I'm assuming he's right down here at the front somewhere. Because I do believe... Oh, no. He's actually a scout. That's a very strange situation. But, yeah. They're already not enjoying themselves too much. I mean, they're doing some decent damage. These guys actually are losing more. So, maybe the shield wall is better. But here come the scouts. They're doing nothing. Great for us. As soon as they move in, we're a bit screwed. If we can get rid of these maulers uh, ASAP, that's going to be the important thing. So let's get rid of them. Come on. They're only wavering now. Now we're getting some jabbies in the back. Speed it up a bit. Now you guys go fight those boys. Yes, general's gone. That's it. That's what we like to see. Come on. I really don't want to lose Rawberg. That's the thing. Were they running? No, 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 no. So, we'll get there. Get there. We'll get you guys there. Still got these boys. Get there. Speed it up. I just want to be in a place where they can't fire jabbies at us. Without having to come and engage us in melee. I have no idea what they're doing. Right, guys. I'll probably cut it here if they just keep on doing this stupid stuff. Which they're doing. But we'll see. Maybe they're coming in now. Maybe they're coming in. Yeah, there they go. That's what we like to see. I'm going to try... I want the other unit to come in as well. But I believe this is their... Oh, wait, no. What? We said it killed... We killed their general. So what's it? 
Yeah, the general definitely was a scout then, so he must have got stuck in that that melee somehow. Well, while we're here then, out of shield wall, men, and let's properly charge him. Out of shield wall. Charge! We should beat these boys. Okay, that's them broken. I do love this music as well. Let's get them. Get away, get away, get away. Right, let's go. Oh, we might as well try and go and break these boys before they fire any more javies. Actually, you know what? No, we need to uh, We need to get to the point where we're... Uh, get out of shield wall, boys, and then you can run. So we can surround them. Let's get away. Our general away as well. You guys over there. I need to get them in to surround them. I mean, they're going to kill a few men with their javies, but not too many. And here they come now. That's good. That's what we like to see. Let's get in. Speed it up again. I don't think they'll like being charged from the back. Try and get through a bit, guys. Now you can start fighting. And they definitely won't enjoy this. Good thing with these guys is that they will, uh, you know, replenish. Did it, was there just a dog barking then? Just so you know, guys, I don't have a dog, so... That's in the game. I've never... I don't think I've ever no noticed that before. Even if, 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 if I've heard it. Definitely not noticed it. Maybe this... If this is the general, that'd be good. Come on. Surround him. We are down to the last last legs. To be honest. Come on, men. This is quite a brutal and bloody battle for such a small one. Now we're relying on so few men. To really do much of a damage. Rally the men. Come on. we got to break these boys, haven't we? It's all going to be on morale damage. Oh, we're losing. How are we losing against the scouts, man? And now our general's dead. But yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Now our general's dead. Ah, we've. How have we lost that? We're... Honestly, don't know how these scouts have done so well in melee. What the hell? Probably because these guys are tired, yeah. They're exhausted. That's the problem. Should have maybe tried to rest them, but we had no time. No rest for the wicked, my friends, was there? Now we need to try and rout these boys, which is not going to happen. They are shaken, though. Let's go. Go, go, go. Charge. Charge, men. Charge. I know you're exhausted. We can't rout. Our men can't rout on the town square. Come on, men. Kill someone. Just kill someone. No. Oh, it's so close. But it's so far. And goddamn Rawberg. Of all places. Once again. Ah, oh, Well, I'll see you back on the campaign map, guys. Rawberg is a perpetual disappointment and annoyance, I've got to say. Here we are. And once again, Rawberg has fallen. <sighs> Splitting our land. Well, it's always fun, this front, isn't it? It's just so wide and so indefensible. Uh, undefensible, should I say. <sighs> it's just a, just a bloody annoying front, really. Just really, really annoying. <laughs> There's not much more to say about it than that. Trying to defend this bloody front. It, it, honestly, this door, this side of Darwinian kind of reminds me of, like, um, Poland, World War II, or, or even Poland now. Like, very little, very little natural defenses. So to defend it, you need a massive army, and you need to be able to defend across the whole border. Um, like, there's no real uh, woods or mountains, especially mountains in the way. The Orthanx last stand, that's good. There's just plains for them to march into. So, yeah. We're not in a great situation right now. I'm not going to lie as regards to that. What are we doing here then? So, do we have an army ready to go? Oh, we got these boys. So, who has got their plate? So, it's these two spearmen getting upgraded. So, I think the rest of these boys, let's get like five of them, can come out for a turn. And Edward and you can go in. And finally, get these boys retrained as well. Get all them retrained. And that should bring all the, everyone up to scratch. And then we will send these guys. Guess where our first target's going to be, guys? <laughs> it is going to be Rohrberg. 
I am honestly going to wait here. I want to take a defensive fight with that because No Way's army is not up to scaling any walls at the minute. Look at it. Look at how damaged it is. Our forces melt away, of course. Let's get some privateer cavalry, though. That could save us if they do bring a good army. Uh, and Viltor. Looks like they're going to attack Viltor as well. Oh, the joys. The joys of fighting Mordor and Dolgador along a massively indefensible long front. So what we like to see. But anyway, um, let's see what we can do about Kargukor now. See if we can leave. Uh, yeah, you two with your gold armor upgrades. Yeah, still only 50%. How are we looking in terms of that? Yeah, it's, it's, it's going up. Let's go. What could we do? I mean, we could get the garrison in there, but let's have a look. Chicken farming won't give happiness, does it? No. Uh, neither does that. Hero Shrine is religious bonus and public order. Takes five turns, though. What about the Royal Hall? 20% law. That's actually fantastic. Let's go with that one. And uh, let's get these boys in there. Um, we just need to make it happy and then we can keep on going. And we're suddenly making an absolute fortune. Where has all that money come from? 24,000? Yeah, we're making about 20,000 a turn. Maybe Rawberg was dragging our economy down. <laughs> I mean, it seems, seems likely, to be honest, doesn't it? Uh, so these guys getting their retraining will be ready to go next turn uh, And then we'll have another four-ish units just to add into whatever army we want to uh, And I think for now Let's bring them out. We're making 24,000. Let's bring them to there so they're ready to go for next turn as well Just so that we can make the best army possible out of these armies uh, and yeah, we got some men in here as well. And oh, we can get another high paladin. Let's definitely get that while we can. How are we looking in Strondost? Yeah, no one in there we really want to recruit unless we need more troops going down the south, which I don't think we really do. So yeah, Mataram's got a general now as well, hasn't it? Fantastic. Everywhere around the Sea of Rune has a general. Good. Apart from Naburka. Were we going to put someone in Naburka? I think we were at some point. But not yet. Uh, Ilanin. Good. Beralga. And then over here. Well, we've got that army to fight. Honestly, this army can take on all three of those armies at the same time. It's not going to be a problem. Oh, we'll just make sure that we don't take the wrong siege engines. Because sometimes, like, these encampments, it says you can build ladders. But they don't actually have walls that you can scale. It's just walls you can knock down. So... Just want to be careful. Let's get a chicken farming into Sture. And let's make sure we build everywhere again. Always building, my friends. Always building. Uh, what do we want in Enmahath? Enmahath. Probably the sheep farming. Extra population growth. Get that up to a, a city. Uh, Carverad, probably very similar. We either go market or, or she, uh, sheep farming. That's 9,000 for that one. So let's go with that. And we are building in a lot of places, to be fair. Um, Beralga, though. Beralga's an interesting one. Let's go for the tomb. I, I think we're pretty good for Northmen up here. It'd be nice to get a place... Probably Dolgador, honestly, would be the best place to get something. Um, get a recruitment hub. So, probably don't really want to build up anywhere else as a recruitment hub. Let's have a look down. And... Uh, Avalyn's Rest. Let's go with... Let's go with Avalyn's Rest. Let's go with the Mason's Guildhouse. Uh, yeah, we've got a lot of buildings we can still build in here. And they're all going to be... You're all quite low level. So to get further and further up that up the thing, it's going to take more and more money. So we might as well get the Mason's Guildhouse now. It'll save us money overall. And then Austin Airy. Let's definitely get those paved roads because... Moving around this region will be so much quicker. I mean, for us and the enemy, yes, it's true. But it'll be so much quicker. We also need to make sure that that is repaired. Uh, yeah, let's get that in there in front. And then we should be okay for next turn for Varfest not rioting anymore. We do need a guy in Varfest, don't we? So when that High Paladin is done, we'll send him off to Varfest. 
These boys can come to Santanwi and we'll pretty much have another two armies ready to go, really. Which will be quite good fun. Uh, yeah, and we could send one south, one north, or one, oh, I know, one down to the Black Gate. And one just to, to mop up here. Make sure Rawberg isn't <laughs> bordering any more of their settlements. <laughs> so let's press the end turn. We've got another guy coming up for retraining up to Strandost. That's fine. I do not mind that at all. But yeah. So guys, we are, you know, we're doing quite well on this campaign, I've got to say. Uh, Mordor's not going to be around too much longer. Uh, so we really kind of need to be Mordor and Dolgador. I should actually have a look at our victory conditions. Um, I believe it's 50 settlements, but we are nowhere near that right now. Oh, come on. They just pick on the villages. They just pick on the villages. The poor villagers. The poor villagers. Think of them. Think of the villagers. Well, this is very similar to what happened last time. Although they do have some Mirkwood hunters. Rather than the... But they do have the Mirkwood Oryx, which have 18 defense. Good luck as for beating them. I think it's going to depend on us killing the Dolgador host. But let's play this nonetheless. I'm sorry it's not the greatest of battles, but yeah. We need to kill the general, and then maybe the Oryx will go. We do have archers on that this one, but archers are not going to be that useful in one of these types of villages. But it's fine. I will see you on the battlefield, guys. Here we are, my boys. And if you are enjoying this series, guys, make sure you do like and subscribe. Uh, and yeah, make sure you smash that like button while we're here. Um, where am I being incredibly dumb? But why are there only two units there? What the hell? So there's another unit over here. It must be hidden. <laughs> but they're coming from over there. So what I'm going to do with the archers is get up here. Where are they? Yeah, they're over there, mate. But like I say, quite difficult to make out right now. Uh, you guys can't even do a shield wall. It's going to be hard to surround them like this. So we might have to like genuinely go round. And also the pathing is horrendous, as you can tell. So we're going to send these boys up here to fire down onto them. I think that's the best option. They might actually go after them and give us a bit of a chance to fight the other units. But I hope they send their general in first. Or there's a way we can kill the general easily. No, they're sending the Mirkwood Oryx in first. It's always fantastic when you see something like that. So if they're going to come around this way, we'll get our other unit out here. These guys should also be ready to fire now. So get firing. Down at the Mirkwood Oryx, please. Should have a really good line of fire. Let's have a look. Let's see how many fire up and how many fire down. Okay, a lot of them are firing into the side of the mountain. Where's a better place? Honestly, probably like here. So let's get round. Who are you? The Dolgador host. Yeah, probably like here so you can actually see and fire properly. Come on, boys. We need you in position ASAP, really. These guys have serious defense. I mean, if they come after the archers, that's honestly fine. I don't care about these archers. They can do what they want, but they need to just, like, in terms of life and death, we need to get to get used to them. The Dolgador host. Let's have a look. So the Dolgador host. We are six five fourteen. They are five three nine. So we should win that. Like we should win that. But ideally, I want to hit him on the left hand side where his general is. But I still, I can't see the general. Yeah, I don't, like I say, I don't, I don't mind getting shot by their archers because their archers are trash. Guys, can you just like stop messing around and just fire? We need you to use all your ammo. I don't care if you get down to like five men at the end. Just use all your ammo to help us out here. Now we've got to try and find that general. Where is he? I think it'll be a shadow. Oh, wait, there he is. 
Or there. One of those. Or there the officer. Ah, there's the general. He's right at the back. Well, that's slightly unfortunate, I've got to say. Okay, they are firing. I was going to say, if you're not firing, that's really annoying. But, all right, speed it up. See how we do. So we've got 154. We do seem to be doing more damage than they are. But we're getting rid of these Mirkwood Oryx quite quickly. Come on. We've got to win one of these bloody village defenses at some point. Right. Now let's start firing down onto the Dolgador host. Oh, no. Let's... Yes. The general came to the front. <laughs> what an idiot. Nice. That's what we like to see. I think these archers being up on the uh, hillside has honestly really, really sorted us out. Let's fire at them then. We're doing a bit of friendly fire with this. So, yeah, let's shoot the hunters. And we hardly lost any men from their volleys. That's how bad they are as archers. Problem is, this army's probably going to come back. And I don't want that to happen, but let's just try and kill as many as we can. We're probably not going to be able to pursue them very far. But that's it. Good. Good. Well, finally, we've won one of these darn village def village defeats, I nearly said. <laughs> village defenses. So I'll see you back on the campaign map. Here we are, guys. And let's execute. Tostore is protected for, for like, <laughs> one turn until they come back with more. <laughs> Might need an extra unit in there, maybe. Maybe an extra unit of archers. Because that tactic worked really well. So if we can do that again. Glad we've got the elves to our north there now, though. Uh, but it's never going to stop until the <laughs> Dolgador fools don't border us. So we need to just try and get rid of all the bordering. Lest for the merchant skill. That's absolutely fantastic. Yes, I'll take that. Absolutely. Less making nearly 3,000 gold. How is Mistran doing? 4,600 it's what we like to see. Uh, rioting in Varfest again. Back to 65%. Thorn Barracks gives extra 5% law. I think they'll be fine after this turn. Keep saying we can retrain those, but it might riot. It might rebel, you know, but if it rebels to rebels, that's actually quite good for us. So I don't mind it doing that. Let's get rid of that for now. Here we got the. Town ready to upgrade Burr Emerikis. Oh, fantastic. Yes, we do. Thank you very much. Up to 5,000 population. That's what we like to see. Very nice. I like churning through a few turns every now and then. Right then, let's get Edward in his army, shall we? This is going to be the beastliest army that you've ever seen. So let's go Edward in up there, my friend. Let's go with the two of these boys straight away. Let's just separate everyone into their constituent parts first. So we've got two of you boys. You guys just come here for one second. Elfie boys. Let's go. This is the annoying thing about, you know, these old games with the UI. You can't just auto-sort them all. Um, let's get the other Elfie boys over here. So these sort of warrior elves. Uh, what have we got in here? That's just predominantly just shit. Um... So the warrior elves. Now let's get archers, the good archers, if we can. I mean, you've got a good archer as well. So let's get your good archers there. Archer, archer, archer. And actually, not that many more good archers. Which is a bit unfortunate because I do love the powerful archers. We can, however, get a nice silver experience, one of these crossbowmen. Let's stick the crossbowmen in there as well. And, yes, yeah, so that's quite a good archer basis. There are the elves. You're just a sword master. The privateer axemen are very good, but obviously they're mercenaries. So it might be worth having a couple of those boys at the end, same as the privateer cavalry. We've also got the thorn guard, who are very good. So it's thorn guard there. Swordsmen, and we'll go privateer axemen as well here. And then we'll get... Like you, Darwinian infantry over there. And then the rest of you is kind of cavalry. So so we got the two of the Moriquendi protectors. Let's go with 
uh, I mean, the th these guys are not fantastic. So let's go instead with those boys. Let's get another three of them. So that's quite a lot of infantry right now already. Let's go with the two-door Winian infantry. And then let's have a look. Let's get our archers in there for now. And that leaves us with not that many slots. Let's go two of Ari Naharim. Let's go two uh, uh, A Privateer Cavalry. And then the Thorn Riders. And that is everyone, isn't it? I mean, that is a, a beastly army, I'm not going to lie. Yeah, it's pretty good, especially with Edwardin's general. Uh, so, yeah, let's get you back in there. You four should go into there because you're mercenaries. And then, you know, we've got five units here, four units there. We've got some pretty good darn... Oh, that, that weighs quickest, apparently. Jesus. Oh, and we've got these guys coming as well. So, yeah, we've got plenty of good units on the way. Um, you are going into Strondost for retraining. All those boys. Let's see how far away we are from training some elves. Three turns. Oh, we were building this up to be a recruitment hub. But I don't think it's big enough yet to get the Avari one. So that's slightly annoying. But yeah, let's have a look over here, down here. Uh, yeah. Oh, here comes an army. That's actually fantastic. I'd really like to take a defensive siege in here. That would be excellent. We've still got a few turns until those become available. Yeah, a defensive siege here would be absolutely fantastic. I'd love that. How many turns? Two more turns until they surrender. So that's quite good. They've actually gone past Viltor and are coming up to Carverad, thinking it's an easier target. It is not, my friends. It is not. I trust that you must know that. So let's get you down into Carverad, I think. Probably the better option. I'd also like to recruit another archer at Tustore if I could. I can't. Not got the population for that. Only 13%. And they actually didn't attack here at Austin Gale. Yes. What do they have in there? Oh, they do have Camul. I want to take this as a, as a, as a battle... Uh, as a field battle, really. So we'll wait one more turn. And let's build some more of those, just in case we need them, which we, we won't. Uh, but let's build some more stuff. Santan, we got the Avari armor, so now we can actually get the Avari plate, which is the best level of plate we can get, I believe. Um, and at Santan, we... Is there any more recruitment stuff we can do? I don't think so. So let's get the ship right instead. Get some money coming in and we'll build mines after that. Burra Marikis is upgrading, which is great. Lest market. Uh, Lest. We definitely want that trader exchange. Uh, Elanin got the leather worker. But let's go for the ship right now. Build up that money again. Varfest, yeah, is just in chaos really right now. And that's it. Hopefully we get enough enough lore and everything from that. So let's press the end turn again. Let's see what happens. And hopefully we have a big battle. Because I kind of want a big battle every episode. But we shall see. We shall see. But here it comes. Clans of Ened Waith. But yeah, Mordor, are you going to do anything, Mordor? No, it doesn't seem so. Dolgador, how about you? Are you going to attack Tustori again? Nope. Not going to do anything. <laughs> Classic. Classic Dolgador. Loves it. Shying away from a fight. That is what you enjoy doing, Dolgador, you fools. Gondor raises an army. Minas Tirith, the bastion of hope of the free peoples of the West, stands in flames and ruin. And Mount Gundabad's under siege, actually, as well. Yeah, they've... So, Mordor's kind of taken... Um, uh, taken... Um, a thingy, an Orion, <laughs> and uh, it's been overrun. Uh, Minas Tirith, should I say. I had a complete mind blank then. Um, but yeah. So, Mordor has taken Minas Tirith, but also they still haven't taken... Um, what's this one called again? I can't remember. Uh, I can't remember. 
Uh, Care Andros, there we are. Uh, not taking Care Andros. So Gwondor still has a foothold on this side. They just... <laughs> but they've lost Minas Tirith, so it's kind of a really weird situation here. I mean, we could take Minas Tirith just for the banter, really. That'd be quite good. These guys are all retrained. Don't think we need too much more of an army in Gon in Mordor right now. It's not really a big problem. Okay, we'll come there anyway. What is this army? Uh, it's just trash. Unless they've got great beasts, we should be able to absolutely ruin that army. Um, so that one's there. You guys need to get into there, get retrained as well. And um, finally, we can get some more of those boys. Fantastic. Retrain all of these guys while we can. Let's get you over to Rawberg. Elanin. Let's go with that. Let's go Karasant communal farming. Let's have a look. What do we want? Let's get some chicken farming as well. Keep growing that population. Carverad got chicken farming. Oh, hello, Dolgador. Nice to see you here, my friend. Uh, yeah, Carver, I've got chicken farming. So let's go with the market, probably. Mornithel got the Lord's Hall. So now we can actually get the Avari Barracks, which is another place we can get the Avari Barracks. Fantastic. Uh, when Tyrion Yar got the castle upgrade. Fantastic as well. So let's go straight in with the paved roads. Rubar got the market. So it's about time we got that Merchant's Wharf. Um, and then, is Varfest? Varfest didn't riot this time. Oh, it, oh, it did. It did. <laughs> it very much did. Ah, uh, well, I, I don't think there's anything we can do. I think it'll rebel next turn. But that's fine. Like I say, as long as it doesn't rebel to Mordor or the Easterlings, then, honestly, I could not care less. And they've actually abandoned uh, Lord Kamul <laughs> to his fate. Uh, they're probably just realizing that, you know, he, he lives forever, so it doesn't matter. Um, well, he's not living, that technically, is he? But <laughs> you know what I mean, guys. You know what I mean. Uh, so, yeah, we've got a pretty fat army on the way over here. We've got one more turn for that one. Any more LV boys? No. You guys on the way. So I think we have a go at this army. Let's go and take them out. Let's organize the army first, though. Let's get all the archers first. So, archer, archer. Oh, yeah, I remember. This This army has, like, no archers. Which is quite shocking, really. We, oh, no, we've got a thorn crossbowman. Got any more thorn crossbowmen? No. And what are you? You're just a swordsman. Let's get these boys. Let's get them. And then let's get the... Oh, we've got more thorn boyos. So, let's go with that. Uh, then let's go these boys. Oh, we do have another archer. Whoops. Well, that's annoying because he's going to be out of sync now. Same with this one. But it's fine. Uh, and let's go attack Gan Alton the Honored. And it's a quite elite army for Mordor, to be honest. But I still don't think it's going to be a problem. Temple wards, though, they are they are a problem. So we're going to have to rely on our cavalry to try and take them out. Probably go and shoot them to death with the Avari Naharim is the best option. In terms of archers, they've only got some orc archers and some black orc archers. So we should, even though we don't have many archers, we should have archer supremacy. But anyway, let's see you on the battlefield, guys. Here we are, guys. Big battle for the boys. And it is very likely that the AI is going to take this hill. So let's... Oh, we do have um, our leader as a boy as well oh we'll group them all together as an archer as well of course so that's also very good let's get everyone here let's get you guys we'll just solid line <laughs> we don't we don't need too much tactics we just need to engage them and, and hit them in the back with our cavalry as usual and then uh of course the avari naharim they're gonna go and deal with ganalton <gasps> he actually hasn't gone up the hill that's kind of dumb, but fair play to us. So, I think we can, like, just get here. Even just getting there would be good. 
So we could get our archers maybe like higher up to shoot down on the flanks. And uh, these boys get these boys here. They don't have any cavalry as well, remember? So that's good for us. Already firing. Where's the temple wars? They're over there. So we need to get all the way around the back. The darkness of Mordor. Have a look. Here they come. The boys. Hey, I only just recently realized that you can do that. <laughs> I knew you could. I've never known the shortcut for it, though. Never used it, really. Like, obviously, when you're playing by yourself, you don't need to use that, so. How far away are we from getting into position? Actually, not too bad. Not too bad, my friends. Not too bad. Um, there's something blocking us here, which is a bit annoying. Uh, but yeah. Well, that's okay. Once you guys are in position, let's get you on that. Let's get you on that. Looks like they're just coming straight in. Fire at the temple wards. Yeah, the temple wards are going to chase us as well. That's going to be fantastic. That's what we like to see. Right, archers. Well, I think I've got a bit of a special task for you. So, if we could, like, get the archers, like, here. Including the crossbowmen, of course. We would have such free reign to do what we want. So keep coming forwards and firing at the temple wards because they are by far our biggest enemy here. I want you guys to make sure you engage those black oryx. So our archers have got a decent leeway to do what they want. I don't know where all these guys are going. Fire at the temple wards. We're not really taking any out, are we, though? We will be reducing their hit points. It's like fighting trolls, isn't it? I mean, if they come and charge up the hill, we'll just sacrifice our vineyard bowmen. Like, I don't care. We do have our general here, though. That's the one issue. Right, let's get our cavalry into the action. So, what are you? Black Oryx. Let's go. You go fight them. Uh, our pure advantage here is the cavalry. So, ideally, want all of you to fire on them. Same with you. And where are these vineyard bowmen? You guys actually... Yeah, although... Are you AP? Let's have a look. Yeah, you are. I thought you were. Been a while since we played, though. So it would be good if you actually fought them. Right, where's the cav? So cav keeps getting left behind by... Problems with the map, unfortunately. Firing at the orc band still. Right, let's get up here, boys. Let's get up here. You can actually charge someone if you want to. You're just going to get into them so we can still fire on the temple wards. Here come this cavalry. Okay, not as good a charge as I was expecting, but not awful nonetheless. You guys get out as well. You guys engage them. You guys fire. Fire. Fire, my friends. Fire. So they're really struggling with getting over this terrain. This Avari Naharim. But they've actually ran out of... Ran out of uh, arrows. So let's give him a little bit of a charge in the side of the temple wards. While we've got the opportunity. And then we'll charge the Black Oryx Halberds in the back as well. So these boys are here now. Let's get into the back of the Black Oryx. Over there. They do have their archers, which we could do with killing. That was a good charge. Good charge, boys. And we'll go after the Black Orc archers, actually, rather than the halberds. Come on, men. Big charge. So this is certainly not going quite as well as I expected, but it's going to be very hard to kill um, their general. Okay, great charge there. Who are you, Black Orc halberds? No, we don't want to charge you directly. That would be a bit of a disaster, wouldn't it? Where have the temple wards gone now? They're there still. Keep killing them. That's what we like to see. Yeah, surround these motherfuckers. Let's go. You guys get in there. Kill that orc band. 
And let's go charge those Black Eric Halberds. We might get stuck. Let's go after the Temple Wards, actually. It'd be good if we could kill them, finally. These guys are struggling a bit. Where are you rioting around that side? So apparently the Black Orcs are better than us there. It's not great, is it? Because they are trash. We should be better than them. Oh, we killed him. Fantastic. Fantastic. Gan Alton, the honored. Absolutely getting shredded by the boys. That's what we like to see. So let's get them. This should be the end of their uh, their day, really. They should all want to run away now. Come on, men. Okay, only shaken because that was a trash, trash charge. Absolutely terrible charge. Ooh, these guys have taken some serious damage. This army's done a lot more damage than I was expecting. But then again, it wasn't a terrible army, so that's probably why. It was actually in a decent army. You know, it's all kind of their newer troops. Not their trash munchers. Right, let's get into there then. Oh, they're right, routing. So let's go with these guys. So, you guys, let's get you straight into the Orc Archers. Let's get you there. Everyone's routing now. Well, the Archers have come back. Because classic, the Archers love to come back. That is the worst charge I think I've ever seen. What the hell is that? That's terrible, guys. Honestly terrible. Just get there. They just can't, they can't path on this map. What are they doing? Come on. I know they're not the best charging cavalry because they are, you know, they do struggle. Get into there. Right, let's kill everyone. Let's kill them all. Every single last one of these orcs. Right, what do they got? Uh, we killed 80%, so we just need to kill the last remaining few. I'm going to kill them. Come on. Get ahead of them. That's going to be better if you do that. Now kill them. There we are. Kill them. Good. How many have we got left then? Oh, that's it. That sound. <laughs> nice. We did. There was a good victory still. Whether we've got enough to still march on Barado, I still think we do. But I'll see you back on the campaign map, guys. Here we are. And of course, let's execute those boys. Enemy camp sacked. And we destroyed them. How is Cargo Core now? Still on 50%. God damn it, man. Yes, my lord. Uh, we'll get everyone... Oh, uh, well, we might as well get everyone apart from the single bloke. Um, how about we get two more of these boys and see whether we can actually leave if we stick a few more troops in there. I still doubt it. But that Lord's Hall might help because it's probably an extra 10% lore on what already exists. No, it's only an extra 5%. Oof. Oof. Well, not what we wanted. But anyway, guys, I think we're going to end it there. So thank you very much for watching. It's been a pleasure as always. Please do like and subscribe. It really does help the channel out. And I will see you all again on the next video.